Justin Hawkins writes again. By the way, uh, like and subscribe. I'm Justin Hawkins. This is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. I do hope you're enjoying my series of analyses, reactions, and so on and so forth. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, I know that he irritates and rubs people up the wrong way because he's such a badass and he does things that uh, are like the anti-virtual virtue, virtual sig virtue signalling, in that he's doing things to make people think that he's badass, and it, that's, that rubs people up the wrong way. Gets up people's noses, pisses people off. Guess what? That's what punk music is supposed to do, isn't it? Isn't that the idea of it? Maybe that means he's doing his job properly. And he's in a relationship with somebody very, very famous. I think the person that he's in a relationship with has had a really rough ride. She was brilliant in Jennifer's body, and everyone gave her a really hard time. So I'm fairly neutral on that stuff, because I think that it's part of what you're supposed to do, especially if you're doing this kind of music. Just to fill you in on Machine Gun Kelly, his name's Colson Baker. Earlier I read it out and I, and I said Colin, to gales of laughter, but I won't do that because he will punch me. He's, he's badass. Um, he's 31 years old. He's noted for a blending contemporary and alternative hip hop with rock. And now he's doing pop punk, or punk pop. But it's rock, basically. Um, whichever way you look at it, it's a, either a subdivision or a subgenre of the most noble of all genres, the rock genre. Um, the song I'm going to talk about is Paper Cuts. There's some stuff in there that it's easy to sort of tease and have fun with but um, you know the main idea is he signed a deal presumably with a record company or a publishing company and he got paper cuts that's why hence the justification for the title um, it's easy to dismiss it as um, a pastiche of a really really famous Pixies song and a lot of things are influenced by Where Is My Mind which has got this chord sequence <laughs> way those chords relate to one another, um, you know, in that it starts off on an E, then it's a C sharp minor, which is the relative minor, then it goes to this really cool major chord, it's a G sharp major, and then to an A. Um, the way that sequence relates to the constituents of it is the same as the, it's exactly the same as the chord sequence in Paper Cuts, which goes... There's some sort of motifs in there that work around this. These two notes here, the mordants between the D sharp and the E. Um, the, the Pixies one does that as well, but I'm going to show you why that's okay. Um, it's, I think Machine Gun Kelly's thing is much more interesting than it appears, because if it really was just a pastiche of, of the Pixies, then this wouldn't be the right, these wouldn't be the right notes, because when the Pixies do it, it's like... You see what I mean? Um, but when Machine Gun Kelly does it, the... remains, but the key is totally different, it's in B. See what I mean? So these two notes here appear in his main sort of vocal melody. I'm gonna just check check the melody to make sure I don't mislead you. Bleach my hair, mess it up, take my life. Yeah, so the way these two notes relate to the chord sequence that Machine Gun Kelly's doing is this, like is the fourth and fifth of the B, which is what it starts off in. Then it's the fifth of the second chord, which is a G sharp minor. Um, then it goes to this. It's the root of that, that chord, the third chord. And then it's the major seventh, and then the root of the E, the final chord in that sequence. Whereas in the Pixies one, when it starts off, that would be the major seventh, and so on and so forth. So it's totally different because it's transplanted in a sequence in a different key. The sequence happens to be the same. The two notes, mordanting, is a similar motif, and it's obviously inspired by 
the Pixies, but not in the most obvious way. It's actually quite interesting. I, even after the first little bit of singing, there's this guitar part that goes... It feels like it starts off with just a bit of like um, feedback on the guitar that kind of happens to be this note. There's an octave up from there. Um, but in a B, that's really interesting because it's like... It's totally suspended on, the, on what is the ninth note in the B scale, not the obvious sort of first, third or fifth. So it jumps out and it's already posh, so for somebody who's doing pop punk and just, you know, that has a facade covered in tattoos and, and ribs and just wants to make people pissed off. This is a really posh note choice. I mean, I don't think what he's doing vocally is particularly clever or um, interesting in any way at all, but it is mordanting here. Has an echo of the Pixies without being in the same key, and then when the guitar comes in, has a ninth, and this one here. I think the actual key of the key of the whole song really is this, um, which is G sharp minor. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, so when he does this. He starts off on the ninth of the B, and then on the second chord, it's also the ninth of the second chord, but that's a minor chord, so it has a totally different inflection. Like the way it, the way it plays with the root is completely different. So it's like this. I mean, that's. I'm not suggesting that he knew what he was doing. <laughs> I'm just saying there's more to it than meets the eye. I think if it is a rip-off, then it's a fucking clever one. Um, if it's inspired by, there's nothing wrong with that. That's what music is, isn't it? Um, and if he pisses you off because he's got too many tattoos and he's going out with somebody way more attractive than you've ever been able to go out with, that's your problem. But I would suggest that M Machine Gun... Kelly invites criticism and debate around his sort of life choices and, and his, you know, the things that he does away from music are there to be discussed and it's part of probably the, the way he promotes his um, art, really. Um, once you put all that to one side and you, and you look at what he's done here, you can't really accuse him of, of ripping off um, the Pixies. I think a mu musicologist would look at it and say, Yes, it's the same chord sequence in, the terms, in terms of the way the chords relate to one another within the sequence, but the melodies that he's picking out there are totally different to the Pixies one. I mean, even if it has an echo of it in, in, its, in the way it has this sort of mordant theme, which is literally the same note, it's not the same note when you talk about how it relates to the chords. Like this over an E, which is what the Pixies do, is like the root and the major seventh of it. Um, but this, over the B, which is what Machine Gun Kelly's doing, is the fifth and the fourth, a uh, major fourth of it. So, there's just no ac accusation that can hold any water there. Um, it's an original song, it's an original composition. Um, yeah, there's some production stuff that's inspired by it. But have a look at this, like, I, was, I was just thinking about this. I was analysing a song And it was by Crawlers, and then I was saying, well, actually, the melody sounds a bit like, get what you want, but what, not what you need. And I was suggesting that maybe it was inspired by Coldplay. Then I realised that no, it's actually inspired by. Is that the Pixies one? So that's the same as. Get what you want, but not what you need. You know, it's um. I think this, this Pixie song uh, has a lot to answer for. I think it's inspired uh, hits for Coldplay, Crawlers, Gale, who I analysed recently, who's just basically taken the same chords but switched two of them round. Um, 
discuss here if you think that's more or less naughty than taking the whole sequence but transposing it into a different key. Um, and anything with this motif, it all comes from the Pixies. I think maybe maybe we're due an episode on the Pixies. My favourite Pixies one would be Gouge Away. Gouge Away. You can gouge your way, stay all day, if you want to. You can gouge your way, stay all day, if you want to. That's way more edgy than any of this shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Machine Gun Kelly, but it's true. Lovely song. Quite interesting what you've done, actually, in some of the, the choice of ninths and things. It's actually quite medieval sounding when you break it down. Um, but when you go like this... going to sound like 90s rock um, and it does so please to enjoy Justin Hawkins writes again. 